Hi, welcome to another video. Sam here from Eater Cleaver. Um, so as you can see, we've got a massive chunk of meat in front of us. This is a four quarter of beef. Um, so on our whole cow you'd have two four quarters and two hind quarters. And at the other side they split them down the middle and then obviously split them in four to make it easier to carry. So when we obviously buy in, we buy in, in quarters. So predominantly, um, what we've got here is made up of mostly all our braising and stewing steaks. Obviously, bar like the four rib, um, which will pop in age up, age up, and obviously get your tomahawks, ribeyes, four ribs out of that. Everything else is pretty much all a slow cook. Um, so, what we're going to do in today's video is to show you how to break it down into its sort of like primal cuts, talk about the different cuts, but we won't get into all the full breakdown. We're going to do them into like a little mini series um, just to keep the videos a little bit more of a sensible length for you. Um, but yeah, we're going to break it all down, keep it all on the bone, and then just explain about the different cuts and how you can cook them and best utilize them. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, cool, so what we're gonna do first is take the shin off. Um, so we're just gonna make, okay, you can see um, here where the top, top of the bone sits, it sort of comes in. Um, so the line is gonna come sort of down there and then across, across here. We'll make a nice cut across there first. And we're just going to come down over the top. The whole time, just using the very tip of this knife. It's a little hard to explain, but using the tip of the knife um, just to work into the joints. And then once you've done this a few times, you sort of get a feel. But starting up here and running sort of like three or four inches down, and then coming across is like a good good indication. Just come over the top. silver skin off the top and then dice it or another little way which you don't really see very often at all um, but it's really cool is literally to take the top off here and the foot off and explode the marrow and the bone and you can bone it out and then retire the marrow bone in the middle and cook it as a whole piece in like a nice um, hot pot and it makes the most wonderful stew so it's absolutely beautiful um, but yeah so that's the shin there uh, so next we're going to take the brisket off. Um, so, here. Um, so we've got a little bit of skirt in here. So usually rule of thumb is like a, maybe an inch, inch and a half up from the skirt. I'm just going to run that straight along here. And at the top of this bone here there's sort of like a little bit of cartilage. Just want to clip that cartilage and just cut down a little bit just to give the saw some room there, um, just so I don't saw into the meat. And just spin this, spin this around. Precariously hang it off the edge of the block. As you can see um, from here, it's an absolutely beautiful bit of marbling. This is like a Hereford, it's from a Hereford um, cattle. Um, nice and local here in Essex. Um, source from Fowler Brothers up at Vernon Crouch, they're like our local avatar. Just gonna use um, the long saw for this one. This is like a 22 inch saw. So it's better for breaking down the bigger, bigger bodies of beef. Just get a little bit more leverage, more cutting surface. You're going to cut as far as you can cut up into that. Down there. And then we come from the top and we need to cut in the middle. Just like so. And 
this is where this all comes in. Just put the book in there. Back in the day, we used to have to try and catch these or have someone else catch them. Um, but now they've got these hooks. Makes life so much easier. So we're just gonna, I don't know if you can see. So we're literally just running the blade down here and then we're gonna come onto like a seam. Um, this is where like, the brisket sits on top of the LMC which is um, actually short for leg and mutton cut, um, even though it's beef, a little confusing that one. Um, so yeah, literally on the seam here now. It's just gonna come around, I'll hang it back over because the weight of the joint sort of does the work for you. But just wanted you to, just to see that. So we're just gonna follow, follow the seam around. Really useful. It seems to be tucked in properly. Right. So after that little calamity, uh, we're going to take the forearm off. Uh, it's generally four bones, but depending on the size animal, sometimes we cut five. So I'm just going to fill with a knife where the blade bone sits, and uh, we can cut that one a little bit. A little bit bigger because you don't want to just sort of just want to clip the uh, rim otherwise you leave leave the best before it wouldn't chuck um, so we're just gonna make a nice straight cut try and match the cut with the angle where they've cut it here keep things nice and symmetrical steak knife all the way down through. So you can see there it literally just clipped the uh, blade in there which is perfect and the marbling in this is absolutely sensational. Some lucky customers who uh, get them Tom Walker ribeyes. Right so what we've got left here is uh, what they call the cotton stick in, which sits just here, which is pretty much all just um, for mincing. And then we've got the chuck, and um, in here you've got like the blade bones, and you've got the LMC feather blade, um, which we'll go through as um, as we break it down. So you want to count up sort of five and a half bones. So you're one, two, three, four. Start this one here, one, two, three, four, five and a half. Then we'll make sort of a straight cut with a knife. Bang on that mark. Just come over the top here. Just gonna sort of straight through there. And this should put us right on top of the ball and socket joint where the shoulder comes into the shoulder blade. Gonna come over the top of the joint.
put it around two of the hook, see if it does move this time or not. Oh, right. Luckily, it's that's cut and sticking. Perfect. So, what we're left with here is the chuck on this side. We've got the LMC here. And then you can see where the blade point starts there. Uh, we've got like the um, feather blade that sits in there, which is good for like, your flat iron stakes, which have become very popular. Um, or feather blade stakes for brazing as well, depending on how you prep them. Um, so what we're gonna do is start the cut just on the outside of the bone there and come down the line to finish just at the edge of the blade bone. So I'm gonna follow that blade bone, follow the, um, the blade along as, as we cut it. Straight down there like so. So we've got LMC there, we've uh, got some nice um, short ribs there as well, use them for short ribs. And then we've got the chuck stake here, sits sort of underneath here, and then on top here we've got the, what they call like the feather blade stakes. Um, just split this so you can sort of see. Run the knife down. seam here where the bowler sits. Perfect. So you've got your feather blade sits along here, so it's perfect for stews. But also you can fill it out with gristle in between, bash it out and it's really really flavoursome steak as well. Quite cost effective steak. Got the bowler that sits in there, um, that's a really nice little braising steak. So we've got our LMC here, uh, this is a fantastic braising steak, it's super lean. Um, I say cooked nice and slow, uh, it doesn't particularly dry out. Um, yeah, it's a really, really nice one, especially if you want some nice lean braising. Um, we've got some short ribs on top. Uh, you see they're super marbled. Um, they'd be perfect for the smoker, uh, in the oven, slow cooker. Um, get out your local butchers or get online. Um, so these are really, really popular. Really popular cut. Super packed full of flavour. They just take a real nice long time to cook. So you want them cooking for minimum, I'd say like four, four hours at least, um, but they will literally just fall, fall apart, like you get that pulled pork, um, they will yeah, just absolutely melt in your mouth. Um, so here, we've got our chuck steak. See, it's super marbled. Um, there's a few things, you can roll this as a roast, called a King Arthur roast. Um, it's just a real long, low one. Um, or 
really nice diced beef, um, packed with a flavour. Not like the LMC that's lean. This is, this carries fat. Um, so yeah, this. Uh, but yeah, loads and loads of flavour though. So like I said earlier, this is the cod and sticking. Um, it's just perfect, just ideal for mince burgers. Um, carries a little bit of fat, but um, yeah, makes really flavoursome, really flavoursome burgers, and um, yeah, nice, nice mince. Not, I mean, you probably could dice the the, the cod, but um, yeah, we only had really mince, mince this. Here's the piece that almost got away earlier. Um, brisket, which I'm sure pretty much everyone's familiar with. Um, just perfect for slow cooking, become so popular now for the smokers. Um, yeah, not much I really need to explain. Perfect for the smoker. Hot pot, oven, just cook it nice and slow and um, pack so much flavour. Yeah. Um, never particularly too lean, but um, if you come down toward the flat, this part, that's where it's going to be its leanest. Up in the point is where it's going to carry the most fat. Um, so yeah, depends on what you like. It's worth taking into the equation when you when you're buying. It's going to be like meat jenga. <laughs> um, so yeah, here we've got a four rib. Um, super versatile has become so popular over the last 10 years. We're always struggling to keep enough of them in stock. Um, they just sell. They just sell before before they're ready to go. Um, but yeah, this one's a particularly nice one. So it's got these really small flecks of marble in. Um, so that one's just render down and melt out during the cooking, and it'll just create such a juicy, flavoursome. Um, it's just going to eat, eat eat lovely. Um, yeah, you can do your tomahawk steaks out of this. Um, like you fully bone it out, so you're left with just this piece here. Um, that's like your ribeye. Or if we take this top part of the bone off here, which you can do for short ribs, um, and, and prep it down, it um, creates a really nice rib roast uh, from the full rib. Um, so yeah, it's quite a versatile cut, lots of different things you can do. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's become one of the most popular steaks, I would say, um, just because of its um, tenderness and flavour profile, is really good. And then um, last but not least, which we sort of went through earlier, is um, yeah, the shin of beef. Like I said earlier, it's good for dicing, just want to really cook it long and low. Um, you've got a lot of interconnecting um, muscles in there and tendons. Um, so don't confuse it for fat running through the meat, it's not. you just got to cook it long and low and let those um, you know, collective tissues just melt down into like a nice jelly and uh, it'll eat really, really nice. But yeah, just got to treat it, treat it with care, cook it nice, nice and slowly. But yeah, that sort of concludes today's video. Um, hope you've all enjoyed it. So we're going to do future videos where we're going to sort of break down um, and possibly even go into sort of some cooking as well. Uh, but yeah, drop us a little comment, like, subscribe, tell us what you want to see. And if you'd like some cooking videos, uh, let us know. But um, yeah, that concludes today's video and uh, we'll see you next time.